Welcome to the machine learning module number 4 that is the classification module and in this lecture we are discussing about k nearest neighbor. Well k nearest neighbor is a classification model and we will understand why knn is named as knn and why it is so convenient to use. Well knn stands for k nearest neighbors and why so? Suppose we are given this data set and this data this data in red belongs to class 1 and this data in uh, green belongs to class 2. Now suppose we are given a data set okay, with coordinate points or data points x1, y1. So let's say we are plotting the data over here. right? So now what we have to do is we have to choose k. So initially okay, for this model we have to randomly choose a value of k. So suppose I have selected the value equals to 5. So what I'll do is I'll find out the nearest neighbors, the 5 nearest neighbor to this data point. So number 1 is this one is nearest to the data, this one is nearest to data, this one is nearest to data, this one is nearest to data and let's say this one is nearest to data. So these 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So these 5 data points are the nearest data points to this data set. Okay. So now according to the algorithm what we will do is we have 5 nearest neighbors and then we will see the total majority of the class. So these 4 data points belong to class 1 and this data set belong to class 2. So 4 neighbors belong to class 1 and one lab, uh, data point belongs to class 2 right so this class will be in majority so that's why this data will belongs to this class only so that's how knn works let me just give you one more example for that suppose i am choosing a data point over here okay and k equals to 5 so when I'm talking about the nearest neighbor, this is the first nearest one, then the second nearest one, then the third nearest one, and let's say this is the fourth nearest one, and this is the fifth nearest one. So this is how we calculate the nearest neighbors. We can use any distance measure, either Euclidean or Manhattan, whatever you think convenient, you can choose while training the model. And now this new data point will see that in this case this data points are in majority 3 to 2 so that means this data will belong to this class only right and will classify it as label 2 so this is how knn works k means the number of nearest neighbors we are looking and then we assign the data point to that class which is having the majority the majority of nearest neighbors closer to that data point. As I have explained you in the intuition video that how it works, we will be working on a python code to understand how we can code this model using it. So to start with our model, I have already imported the basic libraries that is pandas, numpy and matplotlib and the data set that we are using to understand this lecture is same as we have used in the logistic regression model okay so that's the same c data we have okay so these are the parameters area parameter compactness length width asymmetry and length kernel group and we have to classify to which seed class our kernel belongs to right so that's the data in four 210 entries we have three classes 0 1 2 each uniquely distributed having 70 data entries each now we are splitting our data to input output then we are splitting our data to training and testing parts with a ratio of 25% in test size and the, uh, the remaining in the training data. Now we will scale our data to have similar data distribution. Now the important thing is KNN so we will see how to train our KNN model for that what we'll use is we'll use neighbors module from scikit-learn so from sklearn dot neighbors 
it will import k neighbors classifier right and then knn classifier equals to k neighbor classifier now we have to set the number of neighbors that we'll be looking for when we are saying that this particular data belongs to this class so for this lecture i have set it let let's set it to be 3 and see how it works okay you can play with these hyper parameters and check your results before fixing your model okay so neighbors equals to 3 let it be 3 we are looking for 3 nearest neighbors to vote out that to which class should our data belong to okay and we have to set the distance we'll be looking for so p equals to 2 i'm setting that means we are taking into consideration the euclidean distance if you set p equal to 1 that means you are training your model by considering the manhattan distance okay here i am using the euclidean distance and now it's time to train our model this was the initialization part that is we want this model now using these properties or these parameters we have to train our model and we'll give the training data which is x train and y train right okay here we go our data our model is trained now and now we'll predict the x test values using this train model so y predict equals to knn classifier which i have already trained and we'll say knn classifier dot predict what we have to predict we have to predict our x test values okay now we'll check the results so we'll say from sklearn dot matrices import confusion matrix sorry confusion matrix right also we'll import the accuracy score accuracy score here we go now we'll plot the confusion matrix so confusion matrix for that what we need to pass on is y test and y predict okay so this is the confusion matrix we have this model is predicting or classifying the data pretty well okay and let's check the accuracy as well so we'll say accuracy score and we have to check the accuracy for this so let's see So yeah, in case of logistic regression, we were predicting or we were classifying our data with an accuracy of 92.4%. But when we are using KNN, you can see that our accuracy is now increased. And the final accuracy score we have is 94.33%. So that means we are classifying our data that to which class of kernel it belongs. We are classifying this with an accuracy of 94.33% or 94.34% which is pretty good when we are considering that we have this much of data only to train our model right so this was KNN and this is how we train a KNN classifier so this was all for this lecture best of luck and keep following